Well, it's that time again, and any collector knows what time I'm talking about. No, it's not 8.30. Well, it is 8.30, but that's not the time. It's, it's the time when you have to decide which upside-down Jenny airmail stamp you're going to sell, which one you're going to keep, which Indian hen penny from Indian head nickel. Sorry. If you had an Indian head penny, you'd be able to retire. Anyway, um, which identical, more or less, thing are you going to keep, and which one are you going to sell? And here we have two examples of essentially the same pen. One is a, uh, they're both Schaefer pens. One is in what collectors would refer to better condition, and one is in less good condition. One has bright shiny chrome, the other one it's quite little scratched and worn. One has a shiny crisp barrel. It's a nice crisp imprint. I can feel the lettering. The other one has lettering you can feel as well, but it says Mrs. Emma Boyce. Now that usually means, see there it is, Emma Boyce, no, Boyer, something, Boyce. This is Emma. Normally, this that's a deal breaker. A collector will immediately say, I don't want the one with Emma's name on it. That one, in fact, no one will want that then, probably, so it's going to go in my junk box. Well, luckily, I'm not any collector. I happen to like names on pens. I like the fact that they were well-loved and well-used. And if Emma is proud of her possession and wanted to put her name on it, that makes the object, I think, more valuable to me. Which one is Emma's? I was pretending the wrong one was Emma's. Anyway, you know what I mean. So, uh, the, que the, the decision of which one to keep and which one not to keep might be easier for some people than others. But with me, it's like children. I, Actually, I have no idea what it's like with children because I don't have any. But you hear about this with real people, with their real children. You know, which one, which child am I going to send to college? Which child is going to go to the coal mine? You know, which child will be fortunate? Which one will not be? And you know, if you can't send them both to college. You can only send one. Maybe that's a choice that you can easily make. Maybe it's one that you flip a coin. I guess they both could go to a trade school, but anyway, blah blah blah. Those are for children. This is this is important. This is pens. So which one do I keep? Well, often for me, deciding which one also to keep depends, of course, on how they write. So, Emma, a smooth pen, uh, the anonymous one, oh, wow. this one has an extremely fine nib. It's making a line, but I don't even know whether the camera can see it. The line that it can make when it's fine. Let's try a zooming in here. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, a nickel 
nuclear bomb explosion in Everett just now. So this one has really a, a interesting nib, which I, I'm really liking nibs like this at the moment. I'm in a very fine, scritchy, scratchy sort of nib mood these days. I know my fingers are filthy. I was at a pen show a couple days ago and ink gets everywhere. In it. Now the Emma's pen is very moppy. You can see the ink it puts out. It's still very fine, but it's it's put, it's very generous with ink. And um, it uh, is smoother, feels smoother. So I probably, well, I still don't know which one, which one. Well, I do have the ability, as you probably know by now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the one that says Emma because I'm going to continue to uh, have the same affection, presumably, to this pen as Emma did when she owned it. I, um, I love the fact that I have a sense that this pen was used, and I really don't know what it was used for. It could have been used to write long letters to the editor about the condition of the sidewalks in front of Emma's house. It could have been used to write lovely letters. Um, it says Mrs. Emma, so we know she was married to presumably a Mr. Boyce. And, um, no, I don't know what their marriage was like. It could have been a happy one. Uh, what else can we deduce, Mr. Holmes, from this pen? Well, clearly she was married to a man that was a little clumsy. Well, how do you know that, Holmes? Watson will say. It's elementary, Watson. Look at the markings made with a pliers on the section of the pen. Clearly, the pen was clogged and Emma mistakenly gave it to Mr. Boyce and he brought it down to the workshop and just got out his pliers and twisted it and unclogged the pen for her and brought it back upstairs and gave it to Emma and Emma said, Dear, looking at the, at the um, marks, the fresh plier marks, Dear, she said, What's the name of our divorce lawyer again? What's his phone number? And that ended there. what could have been a very nice relationship. Anyway, what I'm able to do, because I own both of these pens, is I'm able to take the, the prickly nib that out of that pen and put it over here and take this one and move it over there, which I may do. Chances are, though, um, the, the scratches, I don't mind the name here. I don't mind even Mrs. Boyce's teeth marks if she bit this pen, uh, well, she didn't actually. But I don't mind pens that even have teeth marks on the back because as you know, these things are quite delicious, tasty. I think the gray striped Schaefer's were peppermint or were they, maybe the red ones were peppermint. But I don't mind honest wear, wear uh, that shows that the pen, <clears throat> pardon me, the pen was loved. I don't like sort of this kind of wear that you see based, that just shows clumsiness and a disregard of property. I don't like that kind of wear. So anyway, I don't, I'll probably end up keeping them both. What the heck? Why not? I can. 
Did I make the right choice in keeping them both? Let me know. Um, I'm sure that I have other things exciting to say about these pens. I, um, I did this video earlier, about a half hour ago, but it was all out of focus. So I'm redoing it, but I don't use a script. So it's all improvised. So what do you know? While I'm talking about pens that are that show well use, I'll just we'll show this one again. I showed this yesterday, but I'll show it again. This pen was owned by a man named Julius Saltz. I don't know if you can see his name there. Julius Saltz. And Julius used this pen clearly for a very long time and to, to the point of actually well you know all the chrome this is supposed to be bright and shiny and it's all been worn away and the chrome has been worn away and the metal is actually you know being slowly worn away um, but not only that but you can see how he held the pen he, he really held it very strongly because the, the pen is warped because of the pressure he exerted using his thumb to, to write his whatever he was writing. Probably very angry letters to the editor of the newspaper complaining about the sidewalks in front of Mrs. Boyce's house. Maybe he was carrying on a little affair with Mrs. Boyce. Mr. Boyce would go to work and Julius would come on over and trip on that sidewalk every day, which is why he wrote those nasty letters. You can probably tell, uh, I'm trying to put the cap on by not actually looking at the pen, but looking at the image on the camera, so I normally can do this better. But 99.999999% of pen collectors would choose to keep a, quote, nicer example. But I am not one of those. I'm in the point zero 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 one percentage of collectors who really enjoys using a pen um, and having a pen that's in perfect shape is a little tiny bit intimidating because you know it's lasted through World War II it lasted through the Reagan years and it'll last through the Trump years if he, that moron is elected and it'll last for another hundred years in perfect shape if no one touches it. Mrs. Boyce, on the other hand, Emma, this is Emma Boyce, she'll last that long too, but I'd rather have a pen used than not used. So this one, the one in perfect shape makes me sad in a way. This pen has been has has existed for all of those years and did not write a letter to the editor. It did not write that grocery list. It did not, or if it did write those things, it was, it was protected so much that um, it just seems like it's sad. Emma, on the other hand, this pen is happy. Even if it wrote only nasty letters to the editor, this pen is happy. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, clearly I, it's time for me to stop this video. Engine's off.